paid $5 at an estate sale, sold for whoop. The last one sold in 2018 for 1600. So I priced high at 3400 and ended up taking a best offer of $2550 plus shipping. Sold for full asking price of $699 plus shipping. And hey, Bella buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and my YouTube channel members. So be sure to check the description for a link to my Facebook group and also a link to um, the YouTube Bolo Buddies members channels and eBay stores. They will all be linked down in the description. So come on over and join the Facebook group, but you have to be nice. And if somebody's not nice, please report it so that we can take care of it. It's the group's over 80,000 people now, so we need your help. All right, let's get started here with the first Bolo. Uh, this one's a little different. I just put this up as like a bonus for maybe some of the people that wanted to share something that had sold a little bit like further back and maybe not in that current month. And um, it's share your best bolo in the last 90 days. So here we go. This is what the uh, screenshot looked like. And basically, if you're in the Facebook group, you go over to that screenshot and you put this information with a, a screenshot in the comments. And then I share it in a video like this. Bought for $5 at the Habitat Restore. Sold for full asking price of $229. And it is a Danbury Mint Pumpkin Patch Halloween something figurine. And this is what it looks like. Wow, $229. Oh, it's a Dotson. It's got Dotsons on it. Wow, five bucks into $229. That's awesome. Okay, this one's mine. I sold this puzzle for $300. Purchased from an estate sale buyout so cost of goods was probably around a buck it's a vintage springbok jigsaw puzzle the christmas house it's a thousand pieces it's new old stock and sealed now the seal is ripped but it was still it had never been opened so it wasn't like i was sitting there putting this together or counting pieces it was good and ready to go it sold super fast for a best offer of 300 dollars, and this is what it looks like that was a mega surprise i had no idea I sold this New York Jets football helmet for $1.99, or I'm sorry, for $199, $1.99 would not be a bolo, $199 purchased on a high bid auction for $55. I had an offer of $120, but declined, turned out to be a smart decision. It is a New York Jets throwback football helmet, and this is what it looks like. I sold this Fiesta Wear lot on best offer for $139 plus shipping. I got it at the Goodwill and caught it on a new cart before they dumped them in to the dollar a piece silverware bin. I asked if I could get a price for the whole bag and they charged me eight bucks. So they would have been a dollar a piece, but because he caught it before they dumped it, he got them all for eight. Look how many's there. Oh my goodness. I would have parted that out by color. Totally parted it out by color. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, estate sale, $1.93, sold for a best offer of $125. It is a 10-piece, I don't want to ship it. Uh, that's just me saying that. It's a 10-piece tea set for two uh, Johan Hovland teapot, creamer, sugar, cup, and saucer plate, MCM. And that's what it looks like. No way, that little pitcher, oh, teapot, whatever it's called. I'm new to reselling, so starting off with this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Starting out with things I already had. I've had two big sales so far. The first is my clarinet from high school. It was a special edition only made for a few years and clear with copper keys. The last one sold in 2018 for $1,600. So I priced high at $3,400 and ended up taking a best offer of $2,550 plus shipping. Nothing like selling something that's been sitting in your house that was yours as a kid. How cool is that? Nice a bolo. It's a rare 1990 Buffett Crampoon or Crampon B12 clear clarinet with copper keys. That's great. 
Um, her next one, my second highest, was a t-shirt I had from high school. It was a Stanley DeSantis design single stitch of lock, of lock, shock, and barrel from the Nightmare Before Christmas. I had only worn it once, but kept it all of these years. Dad Planet graciously helped me with it, and it sold for full asking price of $699 plus shipping. And Dad Planet is an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely go check him out. So shout out, Dad Planet. That is great. Okay. Estate sale, $7 and sold for a best offer of $390 plus shipping. Calvin's Commentaries by John Calvin, complete 22 volume set. Wow. This is one thing that I like see ya, pass by because they're so heavy and so tough to ship. But I will tell you, there are people that are making big money on these volumes of books and these book sets. Mindful Recycle is one that comes to mind. Oh my goodness, she has sold so many of these in big sets for big money. Definitely check out Mindful Recycle. I sold this new in the package vintage baby blanket comforter I bought at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for $120. I love it. And it looks like that sold on Mercari. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and it is, she said this is the best in the last 90 days, and she has shared this one before, but it's a good one. Um, hoping to beat this one soon, she said. I paid $5 at a local junk in the trunk flea market town event, listed at an outrageous price, waited 48 hours, and took a best, took the first offer of $500, and this is what it looks like. It's a Jess Mar Cabbage Patch Girl and made in Spain. This one comes from, and that was Flippin' Hot Finds. That's her um, eBay store. This one comes from Double T Treasures, and this is her YouTube channel. She said, this is a bypass power switch. Estate sale, $20, I think. Full price shipping was less than $25. Emerson Network Power. It's some sort of power system. She sold this for $289.97, or er, $289.97. Wow. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Simply Savvy Deals. He said, picked this up for three bucks from a book sale at our local library where it was used as a reference book. Apparently only 500 were printed. Listed it for $299.99. Took a best offer of 200 within a week. Are you kidding? That is incredible. A library sale. Wow, it's the Antique Bowie Knife Book by Adams Voiles. So yeah, it's a knife book. That's really cool. This one comes from Zeph Eclectics. Got it from the Goodwill for $6.99 and listed it at $477 and accepted a best offer of $450 plus shipping. It is a religious three-panel fireplace screen scroll orthodox icon Easter Resurrection. And this is what it looks like. I picked up this for free from Facebook Marketplace. I spent $8 for a replacement bulb and it worked perfectly. Sold in about two weeks. It shipped to Canada. It was a bit of a pain, but worth the profit. It's a Jimmy 36 inch fiber optic scarecrow 2005 original box Halloween um, autumn, you know, decor. 120. This one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. This is her YouTube channel. She is a major bolo finder. She is also on Instagram. Check her out on both places. Amazing bolo if you didn't know. I paid $2.50 and it sold in less than two weeks. Shipped to Canada for a total of $207.90. All in. These realistic babies are very sought after. It is an Ashton Drake so truly real breathing lifelike baby doll Ella by Sherry Ron. And it sold for $169.99. And this is what it looks like. Paid $10 at the Goodwill. Sold for $175. Offer in two days. Two days. That's it. In, I said in sync, but it's literally I-N-S-I-N-K. In sync aerator. <laughs> Involve view instant hot water dispenser. And this is what it looks like. In sync. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. I found this at the Goodwill a couple weeks ago in the plush. Paid $1.99. Took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. It is this rare Disney Park Star Wars Yoda Backpack Buddies plush. Right there it is. 
I live in a coastal town and there are some very affluent people here who throw away very nice items. I found a shopping bag on the curb outside a waterfront mansion and knew it had to have something good in it. Turns out there were four marine boat speakers, two of which were rusted out and nasty looking and two that looked to be in great shape. My assumption is that the two bad ones were in the open exposed cockpit area of their boat and the good ones were inside the boat's cabin. The own owner likely changed all four speakers, but when I tested them, the two nice looking ones worked perfectly. Turns out JL Audio is a very high end brand and these sold in three weeks on Mercari for $250. And Jerry, you always have the best stories. Uh, got great feedback too. The, the two crusty ones were given to a local scrapper who was happy to have them. Curb to cash is my favorite kind of flip. Jerry, you need a YouTube channel called Curb to Ca Cash. I love that. That's awesome. Um, all right, so the speakers. Grabbed this at a yard sale this summer for $5. Figured it was only a Sega Genesis type system. Guess these are harder to find. It is a JVC XI console with controllers, games, great condition, Compton Sega CD game. $430 on that. Picked it up for five bucks. What a deal. Okay, here we go. Department 56 nativity pieces. Won eight of them at Shop Goodwill auction for $90 and sold two of them for a hundred each. Two for $149 and one for $127, all plus shipping. I still have two left. They are very large, 19 inches, but they are resin material, so they are not heavy. They are Department 56 Neapolitan. I think I said that right. Neapolitan. I don't know. They were very detailed, have fabric clothing, and are beautiful. And this is what they look like. Yeah, anything nativity I always pick up. So what a deal. Found an ad for a free box of garage sale leftovers. Saw the corner of the picture. Got an offer for 75 last week. Was told I'd never get my asking price and good luck. Thanks, dude. Got my asking price and it is paid for. It's a Tiffany Studios New York bronze green stained glass dresser or desk box. Sold for $199.29. So I completely understand her satisfaction of getting a full price when somebody told her there's no way you're going to get that price because it happens and it happens to me all the time. Um, there have been many cases. And a lot of times people will tell you that too, because there are newer sellers that will sometimes fall for it. And they'll be like, oh, maybe they're right. I'm just going to take their low offer. Um, but you guys don't. Do your research. And if you've done your research, then it's okay to stick to your price. You don't have to be mean back. You can simply say, okay, thank you. Then go buy it from them. That's usually what I say. Or you can say, okay, you know, we're close. I would take this price. But I usually just say, oh, you should definitely buy it from them. I throw in a little sarcasm like, oh, if you can get it for that great price, you should definitely do it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys do when you get those kind of messages because I know I'm not the only one that gets them. All right, um, let's do another one. Found at the bins, few colored pages, 50 cents. So they're coloring books that have been colored in. Yes, I said that. Used coloring books sold for $27 plus shipping. How fantastic is that? Goodwill bins. Paid $5 at an estate sale, sold for whoo, sold for $1,200. Buyer made a $1,000 offer and I countered at $1,200. So it is okay to counter. Um, but man, that was probably tough to counter at $1,000. But I don't know what they originally had it listed for. Um, it says vintage par picture puzzle. Uh, it's stiff and about 850 pieces. And I said, can you tell me a little more? Do you know if it was complete? They said, I was 99%, 99.9%. The box shows about 850 pieces. And it was more than that when I counted the pieces and I put it in my description. So they didn't put it together. They didn't check the pieces. They counted more than 850 pieces. And it still sold for $1,200. Look these up, you guys. Incredible. PAR, P-A-R, picture puzzle. This one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty. This is her eBay store. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And she said, I had other Bolos sell for more money, but this one was fun. It sounds like me. I always pick something that's like a little different, a little fun, something that I really like and want to share. 
She said, and I thought I'd let you all know about this brand because I never heard of it. This was in a box lot of many different items, paid $8 for all, so pennies in this necklace. Listed for $95, took a best offer of $85 in less than 48 hours. I am showing close-ups of the Hallmark to look for. It's a vintage Ben Amun, 24 karat gold signed plate, plated link, 42 inch necklace. And this is what it looks like. And that's the Hallmark. So thank you so much for putting the Hallmark. That will definitely help us learn. This one comes from Vintage Spice. She is also a Bolo Buddies member and this is her YouTube channel. Paid $7.50 at a thrift store and sold for best offer of 65 plus shipping. Took two days to sell. Platform is Depop. So not a lot of people I know are doing content on Depop, what they're selling on Depop. Vintage Spice is. Now she also sells on eBay and other platforms, but she is on Depop. I don't sell on Depop, so you're not gonna get that, that info from me. So definitely go check out her YouTube channel. So it looks like they are Y2K platform boots. Y2K, use that word in your title. People are searching it right now. Definitely, definitely a great word. And I just did a video not too long ago on Y2K. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds. She said, I previously listed that the Cabbage Patch doll that sold for 500, hoping to beat that sale. She said, I did it. She said, I bought this at my little town thrift store on Friday for $35. Listed it Saturday night, had quick watchers fast. Sent out an offer before bed and woke up to an offer of $750. Sold. Buyers all in for $867.05. There were others that sold cheaper. Some listed cheaper than mine. And I believe mine sold because it was the one, only one shown working as I used a four image collage of it lit up. And you can see right here in her photo what she's talking about. It's the city... Um, flat iron building. I think we're going to stop there and I think I'm going to get one more video out of this because these bolos are fantastic. So thank you guys so much for sharing. Thank you for watching. If you would like to share a bolo, head on over to my Facebook group and share a bolo and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And before you go, drop me a comment telling me how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.